Welcome back to Shedlock 2000's Land Rover channel. Uh, you'll remember from a couple of videos back, I'm busy in the world with other more sort of important academic things, and, and time is, is short, so uh, some of the more extended things that I wanted to do, I've not had time to do. Uh, but today, what I'm going to do is a very brief video on, look at the state of this car, you can tell it's been... Now, I've only just finished doing all the, the fencing and, and other such bits that have been on with, and the back of the Discovery has been been swamped. One of the problems I have noticed is you see these uh, door trims, you'll see that they don't they don't fit anymore, uh, and I'm not entirely sure why that is. They're just not very they're not very good. Um, I don't know what is to be done about that, very little I imagine, but anyway that's all the problem. Uh, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to uh, to review this thing here. Um, this is by a company called uh, a a a AOC I think, AOE, OI, 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 and there are many like this, this one is, this one's off Amazon, and in fact if you go onto the Amazon listings there must be about 30 different types of them by various different people I imagine they're all made in the same place because they're very similarly orchestrated now um, the reason I don't like these I've never liked these I didn't like them in the first place when they first came out and I am extremely sensitive to those people who have, have argued that they place an unnecessary kind of force upon the, the door latches um, or the draw strike plates is more accurate um, because uh, as you quite imagine they fit in in this manner you sort of hook them underneath and then as you step on this you sort of you imagine it affects this pivot hinge now I don't like them as I've, as I've said but I am sort of a bit stuck and the reason I'm a bit stuck is because I use this roof rack daily and I don't just mean I put a bike on it like I'm, I'm up and down on the roof all the time I've got wood up there I have fuel storage solutions up there I, I put all kinds of timbers and ladders and, and pipe cleaners and chimney cleaning things and all manner of stuff I put up on here and it isn't good enough just to be able to stand on this tread plate here and try and throw a strap over because I like to wrap things as you've probably seen in my earlier videos I like to go underneath the thing and over the the load and then underneath the thing and cinch it down either with a cam strap or a ratchet strap um, and I can't do that if I can't get to it and I can't get to it if I can't get on there and, and mess about these racks are a little bit lower slung than than the ones on the Defender and so consequently you can't get your you can't get your arm underneath mine jams up about here and you can't you just can't reach so you have to do it from the top now bearing in mind that I have to get up there and bearing in mind that you can't stick your feet on here to climb on top of the tires like you could with the Defender or the L322 or the LR3 and bearing in mind that you don't have the little foot plate that you did on the Defender there's no other way of getting up once your back door's open it's all over with the Range Rover what you could do is open the bottom tailgate open the top tailgate open the bottom tailgate close the top tailgate and stand on the tailgate but Land Rover in their infinite wisdom didn't want to resolve the nonsense that is the tailgate on this and so we ended up we're stuck we've got to have something and this is it this is all there is as far as I'm aware apart from the Lucky 8 ladder which is uh, which is a problem in its own right and I'll explain why this is it so here's my review it's terrible um, you'll just see here as I move closer you'll just see uh, the silicon rubber is starting to split here and that permits um, uh, this metal bit that's underneath uh, to sort of to sort of rub against the bodywork here and it has started to rub through and it's worn the paint uh, now I could have fixed this a little bit because th this particular one comes with uh, like a secondary sort of a rubber protecting thing and I'd forgotten about it and up until such time that I came to do this video and I thought oh I've forgotten about that as I looked at it so if you roll it, you saw what I did, if you roll this through here when you apply this uh, it actually provides a secondary layer of, of 
support here. I've no idea how good or long that would last, but anyway, that's the theory behind it. What I can tell you is that the force applied to this uh, is slightly downwards and is slightly outwards. It isn't ideal, but in the month that I've used it, I would go so far as to say no, I've not noticed any negligible alignment of the door strike plate or anything like that. Uh, I still don't like it, and I still think there could be a better, you know, some other sort of a way, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Um, this particular this particular model comes with a nice little velvet pouch that you presumably can put it in and hide it away, but I use it there often, I just sling it in the car. Uh, perhaps of mention is the fact that it comes with a, a window glass strike hammer uh, with a pimple on it and these actually I do I do I don't enjoy them but I, I do advocate for for having one in a car having been a passenger in a vehicle uh, with some friend of mine who managed to wrap it into a tree um, for whatever reason we couldn't get out of the car I think the, I think it buckled the front the front pillar anyway we couldn't get out um, and we didn't have one of these and we did struggle to break a window between the two of us it was fortunate that we had a big ball pane hammer in the back of the car um, but it took several blows because they're not hammers aren't, hammers aren't the right tool this is the right tool so I do advocate for having one of these so that's handy and this model also has this little can you see this little affair here this is an adjustment thing and what it does is it, pre it allows the angle of this to be more or less straight with this vehicle it actually needs more of an angle because as you as you notice when you put it in it's not quite i mean it's pretty level isn't it but it's not quite level um and so you know i would have preferred just a little bit more uh, angle or dangle i guess uh but this other little bit here is if you've got one that's more vertical it allows you to flip this metal bit across to the back and then that becomes more vertical which if you've got something with them you know a, a different design for the door slam panels is very handy so what have i got to tell you about it well this was this is like i said this is a an amazon sort of super special uh aoc this one like i said there are others i don't know that one is any better than the other i imagine if you could find one with a slightly more robust silicon ear that would be advantageous um if you insisted in using one uh this one cost me about 20 something dollars 23 or 25 dollars it arrived overnight from calgary <laughs> so it was very plentiful it's probably made by somebody in china um and uh and really do i do i recommend their use no i don't i, I think they're a terrible design i don't like it whatsoever uh, i don't particularly think this one's any different than any other one um but I'm in a situation where I'm a bit stuck. I need up on that roof rack. I need up on that roof rack several times a day, usually when I'm not being academic, and I can't any other way. I, I just can't like. I'm, I have been stepping on these, so I have put my foot on here in the first place, and then sort of hopped onto here as well with the other foot, and then scaled up that way. But I'm I'm applying pressure in just the same way as I would be on here, but with the risk of falling off. <laughs> so um, so. Uh, you, I don't have much choice as far as I'm aware now I have designed uh, a ladder that comes and attaches underneath here uh, on both sides of this sort of support bar uh, and it sort of I'm going to have to pull back it sort of slides in and then you can sort of just grab hold of the end or the intention is grab hold of the end slide it out uh, and then let go of it and it would rest somewhere down here uh, the the drama we're resting on here, as you can see, there is literally nothing of any support here. There's nothing. There's no support anywhere along. It's a big bag of rubbish aluminium uh, with with nothing rigid in here. Uh, and that and you know you don't want obviously you don't want to push anywhere near here. So my difficulty is not how to get the ladder stowed nicely so it's out of the way. My difficulty is how do I drop it or on what do I drop it? And it'll probably have to be the tyre uh, that would allow me to, to sort of climb up it. So that's basically the issue. My problem is if I bring it either side of this support, when I bring it directly down, the tyre is not there. Only half of the tyre is there. And this brings me back to the point of the Lucky 8 
uh, the Lucky 8 ladder. Now the problem with the Lucky 8 ladder, uh, it is a, a hanging device only and is designed only to work with um, some roof rack or other. I imagine the front runner roof rack. Uh, or maybe this roof I, I should speak more clearly more carefully I don't actually know what it is designed to be used with but you are presumably constrained to a certain kind of application and the ladder is a stowaway ladder so it doesn't stow in here you have to take it off and then throw it in the car somewhere well when I'm working my car is full enough as it is it doesn't need a ladder to be helping it and I don't certainly don't want to be rooting in the ladder amongst things trying to get stuff up so the ladder applies here and I don't actually know where it rests. I think it rests on the door somewhere. I'll try and take a pho try and grab a photograph on the internet and show you where it sort of pushes. But as you can see, I certainly don't want to put my weight, which is 240 pounds. I don't want to put my weight on here. And it'll be worse when I'm carrying a boat because this boat that you've perhaps seen behind me hanging, we use that when we go out. And, and normally what I do is I climbed up the defender ladder and I carried the thing up, bum, 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 bum. I got on and then I put the, the kayak on and I can't, certainly can't do that either with this or or with that ladder because at that point I'd be weighing roughly 320 pounds I would say maybe something like that it's quite a heavy bolt anyway so that's uh, that's the problem so um, is this a resolution to the problem it's a temporary fix it does damage this bulkhead if you're not careful um, I don't like it I don't really re recommend you get one. If you wanted one of these hammers, you can find them on little tools far better. Um, I am going to have to fix this issue because I do need on the roof and I do need on the roof all the time. So I am going to need to acquire some sort of ladder design somewhere that will work. Anyway, so that's the plan. There is a design. I need somebody to manufacture it for me. Um, I can manufacture it if I had the tools. I don't have a shop full of tools of that magnitude but anyway there it is it's, it's easy done will it work yes uh would it be effective yes is it the way forwards yes is land rover going to make it absolutely not um are one of the uh secondary companies going to make it maybe if you can persuade them enough that there's use for it and it'll sell well which it probably won't because um D5 stuff isn't as popular as Defender stuff but it's, it's a bit unfortunate that really this is a shout out and I'm going to get this right eventually to Adam Wormleaton Wormleaton <laughs> Wormleaton anyway <laughs> poor old Adam has been waiting for me to pronounce his last name right for what, months um, but Adam moved from the same vehicle I had the Defender and he moved into one of these a D5 in fact his is almost identical it's a stunning machine I'll show you a photograph it's prettier than mine by a long stretch it has the nicer wheels um, 22 inch rims that this actually came with oddly enough but then I sold because I wanted the Defender ones on because they're slightly wider profile and these have got the big fancy tyres on and they were a 20 inch anyway I'm babbling but Adam has started to make some modifications to his in the same way that he and I made modifications to our defenders. In fact, his defender was quite similar to Finn's, although being a different colour, uh, as you perhaps saw in the last video. But so people like Adam and me would appreciate these sorts of tools um, because they do make the defender, the, sorry, the discovery, the usable tool that we wanted from the defender. But for lots of different reasons, the defender didn't work for us. Mine had both of mine had many issues and his wasn't any better and, and we're not we're not isolated incidents JLR if you're listening we are not isolated incidents I know you think that this doesn't happen very often because people have more money than sense and basically don't complain but there are some issues with the defender that you need to have resolved and just ignoring the fact that me and Adam mentioned these things to you as problems isn't going to fix your problems um, you've got to do it yourself but anyway these sorts of things the roof racks and these kinds of accoutrements that turn this the D5 into a usable and workable tool these are valuable to people like Adam and me um, and, uh, and they're, they're beneficial but they're not available because for whatever reasons the D5 has not received that 
that kind of following that the defender has and as, as a function of that the aftermarket stuff is sort of not really available certainly not in Canada you'd be lucky enough to find a set of wheels for it let alone no doubt anyway that's it uh, thank you very much for paying attention to my rambling and all about this sort of thing if any of you do have a secondary suggestion as how I can go up there daily without the use of one of these I would be very very keen to hear from you so please leave me a note um, I do look forward to your comments and thank you very much for tuning in do like and subscribe to feed as Emika says the algorithm and we will see you next week cheerio